So I thought we'd start with the uh, the main bag first. So this is the largest suitcase that we have. Um, and I will just go through with some of the bits we've got inside. Look at the amount of stuff we've got. It is unreal. So uh, we've got a toilet roll, you know, glamping. You don't know uh, if you might get caught short. Um, I have got, for the kids, I've got this handy little grab bag of uh, Pirati. So um, Piraton, I've got a, a cow pole. It's a wise paracetamol. I think that one's from Sainsbury's or Tesco's or somewhere. Um, Dentinoxo gum gel. And I've got the... Um, the uh, what, are the, what are they called? The Nelsons, the teething granules as well um, for Orla whose little teeth are coming through at the moment, bless her. So I've just got that in that handy little grab bag from Ikea. Uh, I've just got a random canvas bag. I thought this could be used for laundry. Um, I've got two thick beach towels. I think they've got towels at the place that we're going to, um, but I thought it'd be handy to have a couple of nice thick beach towels as well in case we're going off anywhere. Um, we got this uh, Dragons uh, colouring book uh, there that I thought that'd be cute. It's considering we're going to Wales and everything. Um, so I need to remember to pack crayons actually. That's something else I need to put in. Um, I've got this really cute beach cover. Um, I bought this in Menorca. Um, so basically it's like the size of a... Um, a double bed sheet really um, and it's really thin and you see um, all the people use it instead of having like towels they use these on the beach to lay on instead they're much lighter you can brush the sand off them a lot easier so I bought this and I'm really looking forward to using it because it's really nice it's nice quality as well um, so I'm taking the uh, the Ergo, the sling. Um, so this is a 2016 one because I got this when uh, I was pregnant with Albie so we're taking that um, because we're only taking our small buggy, so I'm planning on using the sling um, if I uh, if we're going on like beach walks or anything like that. Um, so I've got a couple of um, teething bits for all. I've got one of these newbie necklaces, and I've got also got matchstick monkey, um, and I've got sterilizer wipes as well, so I can use those on the go. Um, oh, I bought this in Poundland. This is really cool. So it's. Um, it looks like a suntan lotion, but it's not a suntan lotion, look. You unclick this, and then you put your valuables inside. Um, so it should stop and like deter anyone from kind of, you know, just grabbing a phone. But I thought it was quite cool anyway. You know, it could be good for hotel room keys and stuff um, when we're on our hot summer holidays. Um, so I've got this mosquito net for Ola's uh, travel cot as well. Um, I think this was just from Amazon. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's quite cool. You can put it on buggies and stuff like that as well. Um, got this from the library, the rough guide to Wales. Um, it's got a whole bit about Pembrokeshire in there as well. Um, I kind of love buying, uh, travel books, you know, like Lo Lonely Planets and these rough guides as well. But when you're just going away for a few days, it just seems a bit kind of a, a bit of a waste. So I grabbed this from the library. So I'm looking forward to having a look through that when we get there. Um, I've just got a couple of little toys for Orla, um, and I've got these uh, stacking cups. Um, these were from Ikea, and honestly, they were the best buy ever. I didn't even buy them. Our friend gave these to me. Um, she bought them for her daughter when she was in a bit of a bind in Ikea with no toys, and Abby used these, and now Orla's using them, but we are missing the two and the three because we were playing a game with them in the pool on holiday a couple of years ago, and they disappeared. I've got these little stacking boats as well. Abby likes these too, so random pair of socks for me um i have got some playing cards for Stu and i for the evenings i've got a oh a little ball for all as well she loves that ball i think that might be albie's day um i have got antibacterial wipes we are currently potty training albie um and we are going through a lot of these at the moment i have got a mallet <laughs> because i've got some um animal croquet here. It's a really cute little wooden croquet with two little balls. I think there's four little of the, are they called traps? Um, and I thought that'd be quite a sweet little toy to play with outside. Um, I've got a, um, a, condi a fabric conditioner and a, and a soap as well for just in case we need to go to a laundrette. I've got a couple of these little aeroplane things. I kind of dug them out from when we've had party bags and stuff. I thought they'd be quite fun outside. Oh, I got this from Poundland. How cute is this? It's like a little bat and ball set. Um, I think they're called boom rackets, are they? Um, so I got that. I thought that'd be quite a fun little game to play. Arby's really getting into kind of ball sports and stuff now. Oh, I got this for Orla. This is really, really cute. It's one of these uh, pack away waterproof all-in-ones from Jojo, Mum and Bebe. Um, let me open it up because it's really, really nice. Um, 
so you just kind of fold it out well let's see if it's you can do it one-handed because obviously i'm normally holding all her when uh, when i need to do stuff like this hang on let's see how we're getting on oh it's quite difficult to do one-handed anyway you, you catch the gist so it's like a little star outfit look just like this so it's got the like a little that's the little hood and it's got uh, the little sleeves here. The uh, the insert that it went into just tucks away. You've got your little legs here and you zip that up in the middle. It's very cute. And it's got these little straps here as well. So um, yeah, that's really handy to have. I thought that can be nice. I bought it in 12 to 18 months as well, the size, um, just because I thought, She's nine months now. I don't really want to buy, you know, nine, um, six to 12 or anything. And she's going to need it more in the winter anyway because she's November birthday. So that's that. We've got that for the bag. Um, I've got this UV tent, this pop-up tent. I'm not going to get it out because I won't be able to put it away. And it's full of sand as well. But this is one of these little pop-up tents. Um, you can see the material inside. It's got these mesh sides as well to keep them nice and cool. But what I will do is I'll include uh, a video or some pictures of this um, after we've been away. And we also used it in Manor as well so we're getting nice lots of good use out of it um i got some library books uh from the library for albie we went uh to the library on wednesday and we got these so he chose all of these but he did choose the dinosaurs night before christmas and i mean it's august <laughs> but you know i can't say no can i he chose that one so there we go so i've got all of these books uh for our holiday um i've got my kindle in the side pocket here um i've got a pair of flip-flops for the shower i just bought some flip-flops from primark um i've got an eye mask in case it starts getting really light um and i got some uh the plastic bags for the potette as well um so that's everything that was in the main bag i'm going to repack that bag now <laughs> um and i'll show you what the kids have got too so this is everything that I've, uh, I'm packing for Albie. So I'll just do a quick run through of the bits and bobs uh, that I have packed for him. Um, so here I've got Albie's little backpack. This has got a set of reins on it as well. Not that we really use them because um, he doesn't really like it. But um, yeah, we've got them just in case. It's also got his name on it. It's also got my mobile number uh, written on the other side. Um, so, and this is really cute. This is from my first years. And this was a present from uh, um, one, of my, one of my best friends for Albie. Um, so what we've got here as well is we've got Albie's little raincoat. This is from Gap. Um, it's got a hood and everything as well. And it's got a nice little um, fleecy lining. It's not very thick though, so it can be warm when it's quite light too. Um, so we've got these little um, trousers here. These are wet play trousers. So these are the ones, you know, it's like a little set of dungarees. Look, with a clip. Just like that. And, and then you can do them up. So you can do them up a bit tighter and stuff like that. Um, so that's wet play there. They're really, really nice. Um, we've had these for a few years, actually. So they might be a little bit small on him now. Um, but they'll do for, you know, kind of like messing about on the beach and stuff. Um, so here I've also got Albie's Happy Nappy. So, you know, they're like little trunks. Um, uh, with a nice little sharky print on them there. A couple of swim nappies. Albie is nearly potty trained now, but um, just in case. Uh, we've also got this really nice O'Neill wetsuit as well um, that my dad bought him. He's got a matching one. Um, so that's nice and thick as well. So if he does go for a tiny little dip in the sea, um, then he won't get too cold. Well, he'll be cold, but not too cold. So here I've got pyjamas. I've got two sets of thick pyjamas. Um, I've got these um, dinosaur ones here, which were a present. And I've got these ones from M&S too. And I've got a nice thick blanket there as well. Um, other bits and bobs I've got. I've got basically all of his pants. Because um, like I say, we are still potty training. Um, so we do go through pants like, um, well, like anything. Uh, loads of pairs of socks. Uh, what, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten. I think I've got ten pairs of socks in total, actually. Um, I've got a few little dribble bibs. We don't really use them anymore, but you never know. Um, I've got lots of shorts. Like I say, once again, we're still potty training. So we need loads and loads and loads. So I think I've got one, two, three four five six um lots basically there <laughs> um i've got loads of t-shirts because that's the thing that albie probably gets the grubbiest and um, this is really cute isn't it look um it's um you know the, the dinosaur from toy story so he'll definitely be in that one day as well i've got a few that i kind of don't really mind about like if he was to um you know i don't know go in the sea or something and then a few nice ones for if we go for nice pub lunches or pub dinners as well got a few little jumpers here um i've got this really uh, nice little hoodie that's from primark actually but it was really thick as well so i thought that was really nice got this really cute crocodile jumper um that's um oh i don't know where that one's from 
Um, really lovely though. Um, we've got this really cute Chimpian one, Total Chimpian. This was a present um, from my friend. This is from Next, I think. Um, got this uh, shark hoodie as well and this tiger one. That's from Next too. Um, so lots of jumpers there as well so he won't get too cold. And then some vests as well so uh we're pretty good for albie albie's got lots and lots uh to be looking at um and then we've got orla as well and um, so i'll show you all his things too so this has become um orla's kind of personal suitcase <laughs> which was absolutely not the intention um she's just so much harder to pack for because she's so much younger she's only nine months um and i don't really know what to expect this is the first time we've done anything like this with them um so i'm packing basically for every occasion um, so let's start with, uh, I've got some uh, onesies, I've got enough onesies for every night just in case um, it's really really cold. Um, I've got lots and lots of body suits as well, I've got six or something body suits and these are extra to ones that I've actually packed for outfits. Um, so outfit wise I've packed all of these, I've got a couple of really nice little dresses, I've got a couple of really nice t-shirts, a couple of little co-ord sets. That bodysuit goes with this dress. Um, this bodysuit goes with these dungarees. This dress is a nice little kind of dress for if we go out for an evening. It's long sleeved as well. That's from Next. Um, I've got some dribble bibs here. Um, I've actually got way more in the uh, in the bag as well. Um, so I've got a couple of pairs of trousers here. Little leggings, little legging jeans. Oh, these really nice little pink. Um, uh, like wool leggings from Jojo's. Look how cute they are. Look, little panda on there, on the bum. Um, so, but she doesn't really do anything other than um, sit at the moment, so we won't see those very much, unfortunately. Um, so I've got some uh, tights here. I've got another pair of tights as well. Um, I've got some socks. I have got uh, her swimming um, suit. Um, you know the little ones, a little swimming suit, just like that. That's a really nice one. That's from JoJo's as well. That's from my mum and dad. They got that for her for our holiday to Menorca um, and her reusable swim nappy there as well. Um, I have got a cold hat, so a wool hat. I've got a sun hat as well, and she's going to be wearing a sun hat too as part of her outfit. Um, so she's got this nice thick grey jumper. These are the the ones from Gap with the with the ears. Um, I've got this really nice one from Manta Ray as well. This pink woolly fleecy one that'll keep her really cosy and really warm. Um, I've got this lovely big thick pink blanket that I got um, that's absolutely gorgeous. It's really thick as well so that'd be nice if it gets a bit chilly. Um, I have got a sheet for the travel cot and I have got some muslins there as well. Um, that's an extra large muslin for in case we need to cover her over and the small muslins there too and I've also got two big thick grey bags. So the heavy tog, I think these are the 2.5 tog ones as well. Um, so I've got two of those just in case one gets wet or one gets damp as well. Um, so as you can see we're kind of half packed with Orla but she has already taken over this whole suitcase um, so goodness me I don't know what we're going to do um, space wise but we'll have to see. <laughs> so now we're on to the next packing area of the house. <laughs> it's just getting ridiculous. Um, so this brown bag here is all of Stu's stuff um, and that's got uh, my raincoat, Stu's raincoat and he's got like a big thick um, uh, coat with like a fleece lining on there as well. Um, so down here we've got the travel cot. Um, so this is a, I think it's a kite one. Uh, this is actually uh, the in-laws that we're borrowing for the weekend. Um, and then we've got a little mattress for it as well um, because uh, the base is quite hard um, and the reviews said on it that um, it was best to have a little mattress. Um, so what else have we got here? So we've got a, uh, like a picnic blanket, one of these ones with, you know, like the thick lining. And it's a really nice, like, blue, um, stripy one. This was from Sainsbury's. I think it was about eight pounds. Um, this is just, um, a blanket for Ikea. We thought this would be quite handy just to put outside, um, outside the, um, the tent. Uh, I think it's a geodone the first night. So we're taking our mountain buggy, um, uh, on the trip instead of our big, uh, actual pram, which is a bugaboo chameleon. Um, I just thought... We're not going to need it that much um, and when we do need it I could just put her in the sling or we could put her in this buggy and it is quite good like the wheels are quite sturdy and stuff um, obviously it's not like having an actual buggy with big thick terrain wheels um, but it's really good it's really compact as well so we can get it in the car with all the other stuff that we're taking with us because um, that's my fear as well how are we going to get it all in the car around everything else and um, we've got this 
water collapsible thing. Stu bought this. Um, so apparently this is a camping essential. Um, so yeah, goodness knows. Um, also we've got uh, one of these uh, wind breaks for the beach. Um, we bought this in Little Hampton one year when we were going. It was super windy and we thought we'd use it as like a little shade for Orla. So we've got that one as well. Um, so that's packing area. Oh, and my change bag. Let me show you my change. Now this is really stuffed full um so i've got all my normal stuff in it so like, i've got the changing mat i've got nappies um i've got uh wipes um i've got um a snack for lb which is a, a a cookie i'm whispering because he can always hear when you say anything like cookie um because we said he could have one if he stayed in bed for three nights um but he didn't so he might not get it um I've got um, some uh, little essentials. Um, I've got the Andy's Dinosaur Adventure magazine, which is the magazine that Albie chose for the uh, for the trip. I said that he could have a magazine, um, and here we go. Um, and there's lots of uh, little toys on there as well that'll keep him occupied for a couple of hours. Um, I've got some uh, more library books here. We got these from the library. They're dinosaur infosauruses. Um, I like to get stuff like this from the library because, I mean, they're quite expensive to buy. And it's the kind of thing that Albie is obsessed with for two weeks and then isn't interested in after a while. I mean, these are... Yeah, these are £9, so I'm really pleased that um, I just get them out from the library because, like I say, obsessed for two weeks and then uh, puts down and isn't interested in anymore. Um, so what else have we got in here? I've got some um, uh, emergency stickers. I have got an uh, emergency pack of wipes. I've got a little book for Orla as well, a little Gruffalo book there. Oh, I've got um, a first aid kit. This is awesome. You can get these, I think, in most supermarkets. I think I got this one from Waitrose. I think it's about four or five pounds. Um, and it's got inside it loads of bits and bobs. So look, it's got uh, plasters, graze plasters, cleansing wipes, forehead thermometer, dressing pads, tweezers, hero sticks. So they're just really handy because it's the kind of thing you can have in your handbag for little plasters, bumps and scrapes when they fall down and things like that. So that's really handy. So I keep that just in my change mat, in my change bag. So I've got my changing mat. I have got um, oh, I've got some handbags for the um, uh, for the the drive for Stu and I. I've got my purse. I've got another little toy for Ola as well. Um, wipes, nappies. Oh, and I've got a, a spare change of clothes for Ola in my bag, which hasn't changed for a couple of months. That's all that's been in there for. Um, I and then in the front, I've got all the the usual rubbish. Um, I've got sunglasses, headphones, hair clips, tissues. Um, what's this? Paracetamol, body mist, lipstick, suntan lotion, you name it, it's in there. Um, so that's my changing bag as well for the drive. Um, so my absolute top tips for any kind of car drive are always a magazine. Let them choose it and then keep it um, until the trip because Albie hasn't stopped going on about this magazine. So um, hopefully it'll keep him occupied for, you know, the first 45 minutes, half hour or so. So that's my change bag. Don't know where we're gonna go next. Honestly, it's just, um, well, it's mayhem. <laughs> so because it's a, uh, a glamping trip, we're having to take um, lots of bits and bobs with us as well. So let's start with this one. Um, so this is just uh, like a big M&S call bag and I've just stuffed it full of food, look. So I've got this um, Heinz First Steps porridge. Um, I thought this would be really good if we haven't got any milk. Um, it's something we can give all a, and Albie could even eat it as well. It looks quite sweet. Um, and um, it's really easy to make. You just add water, do you see? Um, I've also got loads of little snacks for Ola. I've got an avocado as well. That's just such an easy one. You can just mash it up um, and pop it on a plate. Um, I've got some bananas as well. Exactly the same. They can just be mashed up. Um, nice, easy food. Um, I've got loads of little rice cakes. I just don't know what the facilities are going to be like. So I've just packed loads of food and loads of formula. Um, so I've got these melty puffs. Ola absolutely loves these melty puffs, obviously, because they're strawberry and banana. Um, and she likes these ones too. Um, and then I've just got enough formula for in case we have to do every single bottle. Um, and then I've just got loads of these little jars of food as well. I prefer the jars as um, they're uh, glass, so they're more recyclable than the um, than the pouches um, that we get as well. So I've just got loads of those for just in case um, we can't get anything else or we don't have time to cook something or you know it's all a bit of a rush. So I just put those bags. So also we've got this cool box. So Stu bought this cool box yesterday. So our plan is we're gonna buy ice and we're gonna put milk and stuff like that in it. So I'll show you what we've got. Ooh, some new additions. Let's just put some wine in. 
um, since uh, since I opened this last night. Very nice. Um, so we've got the steamer because we're hoping to steam vegetables. Um, hang on, I'm going to swap hands with the camera. Can you hear my children having fits upstairs because they're being asked to wait? Um, it's a little sieve for fruit and stuff like that. Um, we've got all this little lunch box with a bib and a spoon and stuff in there. Uh, we've got these because I'm going to use these um, to uh, store her food. Um, I've got the sterilizer bag. Well, there's no microwave or anything like that though. Um, but I've just put, put the two bottles inside. Um, right, let's see what else we've got in here. Pegs. Stu said, have you packed pegs? So they're in there now. Um, I've got plates, bowls, spoons, and little pots as well in there. I've got, <laughs> I've got bibs. Um, I've got um, another like just a soft bib for Ola as well. Um, I've got Rice Krispies. I've got Weetabix. Um, I've got these yogurt raisins that Albie chose um, at the shops as his thing he wanted as his snacks. Oh, I've got cold water sterilizer tablets. So one tablet for five liters. I've got eight. I don't need eight, but I thought just in case I drop the bucket or something like that, then I've at least got enough. Um, so that's been my real challenge as well, is how am I going to actually sterilise everything for Ola? Um, so I've got the steriliser tablets, I've also got, um, I've also been reading up on, you know, how to just boil them in a saucepan, which is, you know, the, the old school way, but old school is the best sometimes, isn't it? Oops. Um, I've got this coffee, so just um, some Azerum Americano, that's my favourite, if it's going to be instant, it's going to be that one. Some breadsticks for Albie as well as a savoury snack. Just got some loose um, organic goodies. Um, oh, and I've got tea as well. I can't um, get out of bed without a nice cup of tea in the morning. This is Yorkshire tea, which is my absolute favourite. Um, so I'm going to pop all these back in. Um, so everywhere I look at the moment, there's just something that needs to be taken upstairs and packed. Um, oh, and also um, we're taking all these bits with us as well. Um, this is some food I made last night for Orla. This is some mango and strawberry we had left over. These are some hot cross buns that we had in the fridge randomly. Um, cups for water, of course. My chilies bottle. Um, and there's some corn on the cob over here. Honestly, it's mayhem. There were so many things that I also forgot to add to uh, this video, uh, just because the morning was a bit chaotic and I uh, kept forgetting things and we were putting things in the car last minute. So a few little bits I wanted to mention where we brought our own high chair uh, for Orla. We bought the antelope high chair, the one from Ikea, that the base comes off and you take the little legs off. Uh, we also obviously took shoes with us. Um, I took uh, a pair of flip-flops, a pair of wellies, a pair of sandals, and also a pair of uh, walking boots, which seems silly for six days but the flip-flops were just kind of shower flip-flops and stuff uh for albie we took wellies sandals and his normal walking shoes uh, my husband bought his walking shoes um a pair of um just brown shoes for the uh evenings and also a pair of flip-flops uh, we also brought um umbrellas i bought two umbrellas i thought that'd be enough and um, the small little collapsible ones. I also bought uh, six pl plastic ponchos, three for the bottom of the buggy and three for in the car as well. Uh, we also bought toiletries, of course. Um, I'm going to do a separate post about toiletries because um, I've had a little first aid kit and stuff and I want to introduce that um, and include that too. Um, we had a head torch each as well uh, for in case we need to have like a wee in the night or anything. We also had camera chargers um, and a um, little tripod and I had a little um, doily thingy, um, you know, to... Uh, used to plug my memory card into my phone. Uh, we also had those little charger banks that you can use um, to charge your phone. Um, so they were really handy for the first couple of nights. Um, and then we were only really charging when we were in the car as well. Um, so those just were the other little bits that I wanted to um, include. If I remember anything else, I will just add it into the description box. I'm going to do a full packing list in the description box too. Um, so check that out below. Um, so if you like this video, please like it. And also if you like the channel please subscribe and um, if you're looking to see some more videos thank you so much for watching my video today and um, please comment if you think of anything else that I should pack next time that we go glamping thanks very much bye bye